Centers on the discussion of SB number 2374, filed by this representation last April 23, 2023. This piece of legislation is aimed to safeguard public welfare, protect vulnerable individuals, and encourage responsible gambling practices, thereby contributing to a safer and more regulated landscape in the nation. Halos kasabay na nasabing panukalang batas ang Philippine Charity Stripstakes Office ay lumagda sa isang memorandum of agreement noong August 30, 2023 para sa one-year test run period for web-based application betting platform. Isa pamamaraan upang mapatupad ng PCSO ang e-loto or the launching of the new PCSO online games that would change the existing lotto betting system. Ito ay nagdudulot ng matinding pangba sa mga lotto agents na may existing contracts sa PCSO. Hindi lingit sa ating kalaman na mga lotto agents ay matagal ng kaagapay ng PCSO sa pagpapatupad ng mandato nito sa ilalim ng RA-1169 o ng PCSO Charter. May ikit kumulang na tatlong dekada. Ilan lang sa mga reklamo na natanggap namin ay ang malalaking pagbabago ng tratado ng PCSO sa mga lotto agents, kagaya ng pagigpit ng mga patakaran na nagresulta sa agarang pagkansila ng kanilang agency agreement kasama na lang dito ang number one, pag-deactivate ng lotto terminal ticket cancellation feature na nagresulta sa malakiyang abono sa mga lotto agents. Number two, simula ng transition sa FLX machine, shutdown at hindi na nag-operate ang mga old machine at ito ay kinukumpis ka na ng PCSO. Number three, pagtanggal ng kanilang hospitalization benefits at marami pang iba. Nakakaisa lahat ng lotto agents na mga panggigipit na isinasagawa ng PCSO ay tungo sa pangkalahatan termination ng agency agreements ng mga ilot na mga lotto agents kapalit ng 100% transition sa operation ng e-loto. In its efforts to address the issues raised by PCSO stakeholders, this committee continuously endeavored to invite PCSO to shed light in all the controversies arising out of its move to transition to e-loto. Our call fell on deaf ears. PCSO sent all kinds of excuses purposely to avoid and prevent this committee from performing its constitutionally mandated task. This has to end right here, right now. PCSO has to defend its stand, not to run and hide. When you are asked by the Senate to attend hearings, you have to make time to attend the hearings. Ano bang gusto niyong patunayan? sa mamamayang Pilipino at patuloy kayong umiiwas sa mga imbitasyon namin dito sa Senado. May tinatago ba kayo tungkol sa mga nais naming pag-usapan at mabigyan ng kasagutan sa hearing na ito? Face the issues that must be faced. This body will not stop until we get all the answers we need to the fullest satisfactions of everybody. Magandang hapon po. Now, may we ask the agencies invited and resource persons to proceed with their presentation and for the orderly conduct of our proceedings, may we request, well, actually, since ako lang nandito ngayon, and uh, gusto ko mapaiksi na po itong usapan natin at mag-direct to the point na tayo, umpisa na po siguro natin sa mga pagtatanong. Um, meron po akong kopya rito ng contract between the PCSO and the e-loto provider.
Okay. Now, para sa mga taga Loto. Anong pro ang pangalan ko ba? Dapat isulat mo ha. Isulat mo. All right. Um, my first question. Meron pong opinion ang OGCC Office of the Government Corporate Council dated April 19, 2023 because humiling po si General Manager uh, Mr. Robles ng opinion from OGCC tungkol po doon sa pagkakaroon ng iloto at sinabi po ng OGCC na number one hindi pwede illegal at kailangan humingi muna ng permiso from the OP, Office of the President. Ang tanong, humingi kayo ng permiso o ng opinion sa OGCC? At sinabi ng OGCC, no can do, bakit ipinagpatuloy pa rin yung pagkikipagtransa? Um, dito sa Pacific, ano? Bakit pinagpatuloy pa rin pagkikipagtransaksyon sa Pacific Online Systems Corporation? Anybody would like to answer PCSO? But first of all, OGCC nandito pala. Sige, para ma-make ma sure natin na tama itong nababasa naming kontrata or memorandum of agreement. OGCC, your uh, attorney Francis Julius Romeo de Valle? Yes, Your Honor. Uh... Okay, I have here in front of me eto memorandum of, of agreement and then a uh, on, on opinion from OGCC stating na kailangan magkaroon muna ng permission from the OP bago magproceed uh, sa online ng iloto uh, yes sir honor I, I was uh, informed earlier uh, that the OGCC has issued that opinion uh, opinion number 70 however i'm not uh, the one in charge and i'm not uh, involved in the drafting of that opinion so i cannot uh, speak with regard to that uh, opinion your honor okay your honor. sige hindi ikaw nag draft opinion pero yung opinion na binigay ng OGCC ay legit if it's been legitimate yun na kailangan ang isang government owned corporation pag sila ay magkaroon ng anumang klaseng project and enter into an agreement with any entity they should have permission from the office of the president since they are under the office of the president you agree your honor a have not uh, gone through that uh, opinion your honor but ka papunta rito kung wala ka palang alam so useless ka lang sa amin then dapat policy na kita rito Puro you don't know, I don't know. Nabasa niyo na po ba ito? Alam niyo naman siguro ang reason ko, ba't kayo pinapunta rito, di ba? O bakit puro ka, I don't know? Uh, Your Honor, uh, the OGCC was only informed of uh, the hearing uh, yesterday uh, and I was only apprised that I'm, not, I'm the one assigned today to attend the hearing. Who assigned you to attend the hearing today? Uh, our, the office, Your Honor. Um, the GCC, Your Honor. Pero, nabasa mo na itong kontra. Ay, At ito itong uh, mem memorandum of agreement, itong uh, MOA. Maybe, no, Your Honor. I you were not informed by the uh, committee? By I, I, about uh, the purpose of you being called here? I was informed that the purpose is uh, with regard to the proposed Senate bill, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, so that's the one that I studied, Your Honor. Kaya na, doon sa Senate Bill, eh, kinukonta namin yung pagkakaroon ng iloto. So dapat napag-aralan mo na yun. Being a lawyer, you should know better. Uh, Sana na-review mo na itong contract. Uh, yes, Your Honor. But uh, as the representative of our office, uh, I can only speak based on uh, the official uh, perspective of the office on the contract. Okay. Kasi something's fishy here for me, Attorney De Valle. Okay, I don't know you. Pero, unang-una, nag-invite kami doon sa mga tao na may kinalaman dito sa gumawa ng MOA at yung taong nakapirma dito sa MOA, hindi pumunta at ikaw ang pinadala 
at yung pinadala dito, walang alam. So, uh, ano pa yung sense na ako'y magtatanong sa'yo tungkol sa contract na ito kung puro ka walang alam? You follow me, sir? So, meron ba ako mapapakinabangon sa'yo sa araw na ito? If you say wala, then I'll let you go. Meron ba? You're an attorney, you're a lawyer. How long have you been with the OGCC? 